Hi, boys and girls. Welcome back. This is our third week of online learning. I hope you had a wonderful Easter uh, time with your family. A great Easter weekend. Um, today we are going to talk about fractions. We're going to talk about identifying halves, fourths, and eighths. So one half, one fourth, one eighth. Um, what does it look like? What does it mean um, to have one fourth, one half, or one eighth? And so we're gonna talk about that a little bit later, but first we're going to check spiral, and actually not check, we're going to do day one together, a spiral math review. It's week 32. So if you don't have this with you, please go get it and get a pencil, not a colored pen this time, but a pencil, because we're going to go through and do the whole thing, that whole road together. So you can pause the video and go get your pencil and then come right back and um, I'm gonna go ahead and start. All right, so let me get my screen sharing with you guys. I'll go back. Okay, well, it's not wanting to work today. I'm not quite sure what's going on here with this. Well, okay, my iPad's not wanting to cooperate, so we're going to not waste any more time on that. We're going to go ahead and um, I'm just going to hold it up and do it the old-fashioned way. <laughs> which is fine, we'll get through it that way too. Okay, um, so on day one, spiral review, you see right here it says, draw a square, it's right over here, draw a square. So a square of course has four sides and it looks just like a box, it's a flat shape because we're only doing a one dimensional shape so it's flat and so on the first box we need to draw a square. It'll look just like that. Okay, should just draw a square. All right, on the next one, right over here, it says there are how many rows, how many columns, how many boxes? Okay, well, if you look closely, I see one, two, three rows. So you should have put a three there. And how many columns do we have? Remember, your columns go up and down. So this is one column, this is two columns, okay? So two columns. And then for boxes, we have one, two, three, four, five, six boxes. However, um, you can count by threes, okay? You can do your skip counting and uh, you can do three, six. That's a lot faster. We just do our skip counting, but six boxes is what you should have there. All right, the next one, circle the shape that is partitioned into equal parts. Okay, now we don't have parts unless they're equal, okay? So here, these are, this would be equal. They're all the same size, and you can tell just by looking at it that this shape is divided into equal parts. This right here, look at this. These are much smaller than these shapes down here. So these are not equal parts, okay? They're not equal at all. So you have two equal up here and two here, but the whole shape is not partitioned or divided up into equal parts. So that doesn't work. So you should have circled the first one. All right, on the next one, it says, which tool should be used to measure the length of a bicycle? Okay, I would not use a scale because if you remember last week, we talked about that and a scale measures um, like fruits and vegetables, it measures weight, the weight of something, okay? You put something on a scale, maybe a box, 
Uh, when you go to the doctor's office and, and the doctor weighs you, you stand on a scale. So that has to do with weight. So we're not measuring the weight, we're measuring the length, how long the bicycle is, okay? Um, we certainly would not use a tablespoon. <laughs> That's just kind of silly, isn't it? Tablespoon is little and it wouldn't even be near close to measuring a bike. Can't do that, it's impossible. So the only thing left is a meter stick, which is works perfectly, okay? Meter stick is three feet long and it's a little bit longer than a yardstick. And so we would definitely use a meter stick to measure the length of a big object such as a bike. All right, the last one. How many inches in the worm is the worm? Okay, well inches on a ruler, we've talked a little bit about this too when we did our measurement. Um, each one of these is one inch. From this point to this point is one inch. From this point to this point is another inch, which is two inches. And then from two to three is another inch. So each one of these is one inch. Well, we have one, two, and three, and we have about three. It's a little shy of three inches, but it's about three inches. Down here on the other side of a ruler, you have your centimeters and your meters. Okay, so we would, it wants us to measure in inches. So we would use this side of the ruler. The, the inches are spread apart. They have more of a gap in between each one of them. All right, so that's day one on spiral math. All right, the next thing I wanted to show you is the video for 12-1. Uh, so we're gonna hop over there and I'm gonna pull up the video and we're gonna watch that for a minute. You can use shapes to compare the parts of a whole. Look at the first triangle. Are these parts equal? These are halves. Halves are two equal parts of a whole. Are the parts in the next triangle equal? Okay, so what do you think? doesn't look equal to me at all. This right here, you have a small triangle and it is not the same shape as down here. This is a much larger space. So this is not equal, they're not the same. So. No, no, they are not equal because they are not halves. Look at the first circle. How many parts are there? There are four equal parts. These are fourths. Fourths are four equal parts of a whole. Are the parts in the next circle equal? Well, let's look at that. I would say no, because look at, I've got a shape here. I've got another type of shape here, another part. I've got this long thing here. Then I have this big space here. None of these look the same. None of these are equal. So these are not fourths at all. Okay, fourths have to be equal. One, two, three, four. I definitely have four over here and they all look the same. They all have the same amount of space in them. So that would be a fourth. No, they are not equal parts. They are not fourths. Look at the first rectangle. How many parts are there? There are eight equal parts. These are eighths. Eighths are eight equal parts of a whole. Are the parts in the next rectangle equal? Okay, well, I think by now we can figure out that those are not equal. They are not all the same size. And they're not all in, uh, there are eights there. There are th eight points, eight parts to it, but they're not the same size, so they're not equal parts, okay? No, they are not equal parts. They are not eighths. You can show equal parts in different ways. 
How are all the squares the same? They are the same size. They all have four equal parts. These squares all show fourths. Now you know the difference between equal and not equal parts of a whole. Okay, so now we've um, learned to recognize a half, a fourth, and an eighth, and we've seen what, it, what they look like. Um, okay, so the next thing that we're going to do is I'm going to try to share my iPad again. So I'm going to go up here to share a screen and I'm going to click on it. And I'm going to hope that it works this time. Let's see. It's just not wanting to pull up what I need it to for some reason. I don't know why it's not connecting. Mm, okay, well, we're gonna have to, gonna have to improvise here. Means I'm going to have to use what I have to make this work. Okay, I'm going to hold up my book. It's This is our math book that we have. And what I want to show you is the first page says, use one type of pattern block to cover this shape. Draw lines to show how you placed the pattern blocks. How many parts does the shape have now? What do you notice about the parts? Okay. Well, I have a whole part here, don't I? It's not been divided. I don't have any lines. I haven't partitioned it. I haven't broken it up in any way. It's just one whole shape. Okay, so it's a whole. You call it a whole. Now, if I put, and this is going to be tricky, you doing this backwards like this. If I have a shape here, and it is divided, and I've drawn a line right here. You can kind of see my line right there. So, oh, I have divided it into what? Fourths? Eighths. No, half, half. Okay, so here is a half. That would be my one half. I have two parts, but one, I took one away, so now I have one half, okay? Now, I can put these shapes back here. This is the part that's gonna be tricky. Doing this like this, but I think y'all will, this is interesting, isn't it? So if I have my two parts here, well, now I have my one hole again, okay? I've got two parts that can make up a hole. All right, so I've got one, my one hole. Now, I take one away, I've got the one half. I think you get the picture with that one. Okay, so that is what that looks like. And you can use, um, these are called pattern blocks and they are patterns, they're just that, and you can make other patterns with them. Um, you, can, you can do different patterns to make fractions with those, okay? So, I had my pattern blocks. Now, let's look at this. If I have, and Miles was helping me draw this earlier, but if I have a triangle right here and I have it split straight down the middle, this is my one half. This is not one half, not the same. Okay, then I have my one fourth over here. I have a pie and it's divided into four slices. That is my one fourth. This is not one fourth. It's not equal, not equal slices. Everybody needs an equal piece. This is, this is the one I need. This is not gonna work. Somebody's gonna get a really big piece and then somebody else gonna be upset. So no, that's not gonna work, is it? Okay, so then we have down here, eight. I have eight boxes here, but here, and they're all the same size, as best as I can draw, but. They are the same size. And then here I have, this is not one eighth. Look, I have a big space over here and little places over here. So that's not gonna work. So it's not one eighth. So just because something is divided up into eight parts 
doesn't mean they're equal. Doesn't mean it's actually an eighth, okay? And um, I also want to show you how to write this, okay? I want you to show you, I want to show you how you can write the fraction because that is very important. You are going to be writing fractions in some of the other lessons that we do. So, so one half is just a one over two because you've got the two parts, one, two, and so you shade in one, it's one half. Then I have the one fourth, it's one over four. I have another pie, I've broken it up or partitioned it into four parts. I shade in one, it's one fourth. Then I have my one eighth, one over eight. Okay, so I have, gonna break it into fourths and break it into another part. Well, that didn't work out. Let me redo that one. There we go. So I have my one eighth here and I go, I shade one in and then I've got my one eighth, okay? So these are how you write the fractions that we've been talking about today. All right, now um, I have a, I have someone here, Miles, that I talked to you about earlier, and he's gonna help show us, demonstrate an orange. This is Miles, a lot of you guys know him. And Miles, I have an orange, or you have an orange here, okay? So what is this orange right here? Can you hold that up and tell them what this, what this part is? So this whole orange, as you can see, is one, is one whole. Now, when you take this, when you take this apart, now you have one half. Only a half left. See, because this is one half. I mean, this, yeah, this is one half of the orange, and here's the other half. And then you put them together. And it makes one whole. And orange. you got your whole again. But, Miles, are these equal halves? Yes. Yeah, they're equal. So they're equal parts. That means it's a one half for sure. Now, here is fourths. So we have these are. This is four because in each each orange, each orange has four has four slices because and there's eight in eight total. Yeah, there's eight total in one in one whole orange. So, so when you break it apart, you have four, and then there's... And, and they're you, all equal parts, too. So that would be a one-fourth. Now, this is also one-fourth. I mean, one, one whole. Because you this put is, it back all together. This is all one whole, whole orange. This is four, and this is four. So put them together it makes one whole. Now, here's eighths. This is one whole orange. Now break it apart into eight pieces. Yeah. You've got your eight pieces. Yeah. So there it is. It, it's broken up into eight. Miles, are these all equal pieces? Yes. Are they equal parts to the orange? Yeah. They're all the same size and so they now, all look the same. This is one whole. This is one whole, then, but now this is one fourth because I have four oranges. Then this is, okay, so this one is- One eighth of the orange. Yes. So. And then show them one half again, just half the orange. So compared, these two compared together, this is one half, and then this is one whole, because there's eight, or there's eight slices all together, and it equals one orange. But when you, but now this, this is one half, and then this is one fourth. Okay. So 
There you go. All right, thank you, Miles. Thanks. Okay, so Miles is actually uh, was doing fractions too um, in fourth grade. He's in fourth grade, so he was doing fractions as well. And he likes fractions a lot. All right, and he likes to be silly. So um, anyway, I will, we will end with that. And what you're gonna do tonight is you are going to um, get in Pearson. And there's some homework in there for you to do. And um, you'll watch another look video. I believe you're watching that today. Um, you may not be watching the video today. I think you're doing a worksheet. Actually, you're doing independent practice. So you're not going to be doing um, another look video. But I am going to show you what the page that you are going to do looks like so that you know what to look for once you get into Pearson. So here is what it looks like. It's the independent practice that we would do in class. And it's gonna look like this. This is the sheet that you're gonna to wanna to do tonight for homework, okay? So just take a picture and email it to me and to Ms. Patterson, and that's all that you have, have for that, okay? I hope you have a great afternoon. Get your work done, have fun, and have fun with fractions. Play with an apple, play with oranges, try to break them up into part equal parts and play with some fractions and try to recognize what one half, one fourth, and one eighth is, and practice writing them, writing those out too. That would be great practice for you guys. All right, I will see you tomorrow.